Hi, Beauties and Curls. We are back with another video. In today's video, we are talking about favorites. Yes, it is already about that time. Yes, we are talking about favorites. And we are in full fall, okay? Fall has begun, and I'm really, really excited about what we have going on over here. So let's just jump right in. Maui Moisture, y'all know I'm going to my hair favorites first. And JoJo wants to be featured in every video now. Yes, Joseph. So I have an in-depth video. I'm not going to spend a long time on these, but I have really, really been enjoying the Maui Moisture Shea Butter Hair Mask and the Raw Oil. These, y'all, are not only going to be favorites, but I can tell you right now, these are going to be staples in my curly hair routine. I can use this on wet or dry hair. I have not tried this on straight hair, but I love the fact that it's silicone free. This is a hair mask that I can use as a leave-in as well. Enough said. Okay, we moving now. So let's move on to hygiene, okay? Now, I talked about the wipes in a favorites video before, but now I'm going to talk about the feminine wash. I love this. I call it a feminine wash. They say it's a gentle wash. You can use this all over. This is from Sweet Spot Labs, and they have a scratch and sniff, so you can actually smell it from outside. This is the Vanilla Blossom. It's 97% natural. I really, really enjoy this product. I love it so much, and... I'm regretful at the fact that I was sleeping on this before, but I really do love this. I love the wipes, and I've talked about this. This is basically my hygiene routine, you guys, but I'm going to come and show you some other options, but this is in the coconut lime. I love they have so many other scents, but I really, really do enjoy this. Okay, moving on to skincare, I do have three items that I want to talk about in terms of skincare. The first one, this one is from Charlotte LaCruz. This is their gentle cleanser. I have not come with a full video on the whole line just because I haven't tested everything. I will come with a full review, but this gentle cleanser is amazing. I know sometimes we say that just cleansing our face is just cleaning our face, but this, if you have dry skin, this is what you want. This is so hydrating. It's like milky, but it's like one of those soft, luxurious foams. It is so good. It is so good. I feel like that I'm still going to go in with a moisturizer, but I feel almost like this is like a lotion cleanser. It literally moisturizes my skin at the same time. I really, really enjoy this. So, oh, so good. This is like a staple in my skincare regimen. Now, I love Derma E. Derma E is like, if you want quality from the drugstore skincare, go to Derma E. This is the purifying daily detox scrub with marine, algae, and activated charcoal. I love that this is a scrub and it actually pulls out the impurities because it has the activated charcoal. It's a physical exfoliant, so I really do love this. And it has like a minty scent. This is like my favorite. I would say if I could, if I only had one choice of a face scrub, this would be it because this is kind of like a detox and an exfoliator all in one. So I really do enjoy this. Okay, and the last skincare product I'm going to talk about is the Tarte Guard 30. I love this. I love this. I have other skincare. I have other, um, I, I, did I talk about this in my current favorites? I don't know, but I, this is gone. Okay, I've gone through two bottles of this. Yes. And SPF, I was having problems with running out of that. But this Tarte Guard is so good. It's non-greasy. It has like an illuminating type of nice radiance. It's not greasy. So if you are oily, this is the type of SPF I think you would really enjoy. I really like it too because it's lightweight. And I feel like it gives my skin a nice radiance yeah. under my foundation. So I really do enjoy this. And it's hydrating. It's the most hydrating SPF besides the Aveeno Radiant, Daily Radiance, I want to say. That one is hydrating too, but it's a bit thicker. This one is not as thick. It's a thin consistency, and I really do like it. It gives, like, it's just, it's just good. Just trust me, it's good. Another product that I really, really do enjoy, this is the Maybelline Master Camo. This is a crayon color corrector. This is so, so, so good. It is a liquid that dries down like a powder. 
I normally would say kick this applicator to the curb, but it gets right in between the nose and in the inner corner. This is the best. If you have dark circles, especially if you're a woman of color, because this is like a peach orangey shade, this would be amazing for you. Even if you're fairer, this one you could use, but I really do like it. It's in a click up pen like the Adri wine. Mm. Maybelline is quickly becoming one of my favorite brands from the drugstore. I really, really do enjoy this. So the next thing that I have is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Fawn. This is, I love this, I love this for shaping up my top, the top of my brow, and using this as a foundation. This is like my perfect shade. I did not realize that Fawn is the perfect shade over my face that I could just go in and touch up really, really quickly. I really have been enjoying this. And now that I have a perfect shade to do foundation over my face, I'm so, so happy. So really happy about that. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Flawless 12 Hour Brightening uh, Primer. I'm not sure if they, I need to see if they are discontinuing this. It was a favorite, y'all. I'm being honest, but I like it because it has that illumination, but it still smooths. And this one is waterproof, waterproof. It's waterproof. It's brightening and it is silicone free. So I am trying to get away from silicones being in my primer, even if it's a radiance primer. Um, I know some of the smoothing ones have silicone, but I'm not putting that on my face all the time. I love illuminating and radiance primers. So I really do enjoy this one. The Lauren Mercier Translucent Powder, the Loose Translucent Powder, best stuff, best stuff. I have tried a lot of loose powders and this is still the best. I have it under my eyes. It just does something different that no other powder does. I'm going to test some dupes. I have not tried the ones that they have said that are dupes to this, but I'm definitely going to try it and see if it is. But I'm just, when I go back, when I go back to it, I'm like, oh. And I can set my whole face with it, okay? It is so, so good. I really enjoy it. I have been loving, this is by Makeup Revolution. This is their Triple Baked Bronzer. This is Hot Summer of Love. This is so good, of course. You know, Makeup Revolution is known for duping a lot of brands. But this one, I guess it's supposed to look like Sweet Tea by Too Faced. It's still not the same thing, but it is amazing. It is an amazing highlighter, y'all. Let me just put a little here. I know you're going to be able to see it. And I can't even, I don't even have a mirror. But this is amazing. This one is really a pretty on deeper skin tones. I just swirl my whole brush in it. And this also has been another favorite. I got this in a boxy charm, but this is from Crown Brush. This is amazing for putting on my bronzer and for highlight. I love this brush. Oh my goodness, I love this one. And I've also been loving this Luxie. This is the Round Top Blender. This is the Luxie 532. I love this for applying my powders. I love just, it just presses it into the skin perfectly. So I have been loving these two brushes. Let me know if you guys want to see my favorite brush uh, brushes that I use that are really, really good. I've talked about this before. This is in a project pan, but this has become like one of my favorite contour and highlight. And it's probably because it has the shimmers and the two colors. I already like NYX Banana, the HG but this one also has that one in a brighter shade so you can take it up a notch. And this has bronzers and contours. I feel like that this was a perfect compilation of a palette. And I'm so excited about it being in my project pan. This is, I have it in my project, the pan, the palette. That's what I have it in. I will link that over here if you want to check it out. I also have a one month one palette and I'm also panning the Lorac Pro palette. So I've really been enjoying this. And lastly, I have fallen back in love with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This is so, so good. This is what I have on my face today. And I actually have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish over it. And I have this that I've used over my face. I love it. I feel like I have gotten like my perfect flawless finish type of face that I love and this is a part of it. I'm so glad that they did this initially and it has this big buck foot. It's not a doe foot. It's a book foot. Okay. Book like a book like a doe you know doe a deer a female deer and then 
So I am really enjoying this Clinique Beyond Perfection. Oh, I totally forgot to talk about favorite shows. Y'all, I have been loving Downton, Downton Abbey. Yes. My girl Jordan Vargas is to blame for that, okay? I love her, first of all, but she is totally to blame for me watching and binge watching Downton Abbey. I'm on season five, I believe, or season six, one of those, but... I have been loving Downton Abbey. I am still watching Game of Thrones. I've slowed down on that a little bit just because I'm kind of low-key mad that they are going to wait until next year to come out with the new one. But I heard that the writers have not written anything, so I can't be mad. I can't be mad. So those are my favorite shows currently. I can't think of anything else. So those are my favorites of the month, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway down below. Y'all know I give away a mystery bag. Yeah. Uh, an Ipsy glam bag. And y'all know I am doing a whole different video in terms of my favorites just because I want to be able to get through them. Don't forget to enter the giveaway of my mystery a glam bag. You're not going to know what's in here, but it's going to be some good stuff. And I always throw some extras in here. So yeah. Don't forget to enter the giveaway down below. So I will end this video saying happy fall and thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't already and I'll see beautiful you in the next video.